This is my new 16 inch uh, G&E shaper. I just thought I'd make a quick video and show everybody how the, the thing's got a tool lifter on it. And over here on this side over here, there's a little box with a bolted to the side of the head of the machine right here with two screws that held it on there. I got it off there because I was looking at it closer to see how it worked. They've got a uh, piece of steel runs all down the shaper, screw, one screw right here at this end and one screw at the, on the far end, other end down there. And what happens with this tool lifter, okay, you can see there's a screw down here. And it, this thing right here is just a, just a flat piece of metal. And on the bottom of this thing right here, there's a brick shoe. Like a, you know, this here rubs on top of this bar right here when it's all bolted on there. I'll hold it back up there, let you see what I'm talking about. This is why it sets right in the machine. And what happens when you adjust this, this, this knob right here, adjusts the spring tension, which pushes on this little lever right here. This little lever right here is pivoting right here at this point, okay? This little uh, rod, this right here is hooked to a cable. It looks like a speedometer type cable inside there. And it comes down, it goes down to the shoe down below. Well, this uh, spring tension is pushing down on here, which is pushing the whole whole thing down, putting pressure on the brake shoe. And like I said, it's pivoting right there. So, and there's a little stop, there's little pins, one there, and there's one over here which stops the, 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 the travel movement back and forth. It stops it from going, going so far. It can only go that far and go that far. So as the thing goes back and forth on here, the shoe, it, uh, depending on the direction of the shaper, oops, trying to keep my light, arm out of light there, depending on the direction of the shaper, is what, which way it pulls back and forth. All it is is a little shoe rubbing on this piece of metal right here. And they said right here, this is keep uh, rail dry. So they don't want no oil on it at all. The brake shoe rub, rubs on that. As the shoe moves back and forth, you can see the little arm, the little arm moves back and forth inside the thing up here. This, this pulls the cable back and forth. At the other end of the cable, right here, all we got is a little, little, little pin-like thing on there and then the, the cables. Cable is clamped down in the clapper box right here, and it hooks to this little thing right here. And as this little lever right here pulls back, you can see it raising and lowering the clapper box. Well, inside this clapper box, they've got the corner of it milled out right here with a pin inserted, sticking down right here, which rubs on this little this thing right here. Is what pushes as you turn this right here. The uh, that's what raises the clapper box up. And there's a spring right here which kind of catches right here in this notch. They've milled a notch in here. So if we close it back up again, I'll have to pull the spring back. Let it drop. Okay. I'm not going to fix this thing. Oh, the, this is hanging up. Give me a second. Here we go. Okay, the clamper box is back closed again. And let me grab a flashlight. So you can see down inside there what's going on. See if I can hold all this inside that little pin right there. And as this thing here, as you move this, you can see it. The little, little, little linkage right there is pushing the clamper box up. It's being caught by the spring, and the spring is going to slap it back down whenever that lets go of it. My spring happens to be broken. i got to fix that yet. But that's all. It's, that's how it's working. That's how the tool lifter works in the shaper. It's a neat shaper. I can't wait to get it going. I got to fix my other shaper. I, this is a 16-inch uh, universal tool room shaper. It's got the uh, tool lifter on it. It's got power down feed. For some reason, the head was taken apart. I see no problem with the gears in it at all. You know, I'm gonna put it back together and see what's going on because I can't find nothing wrong with it. I don't know why they took it apart. It looks like it's got down here below, right here is where the, uh, uh, let's see if I can see that, right there is where the shaft normally comes out to raise the table up and down. It doesn't have nothing. But this shaper right here has got a lever in the back back here that, that you flip it down or flip it up. And what I'm thinking, this thing's got power, it'll raise the, you know, the table up and down, the knee, whatever you want to call it. Raise it up and down with when you move this lever right here. 
I don't know. I haven't had it running. There's no way to crank it up, so I assume that that's what, you know, how it's designed to work. I can't wait to use it. Like I said it's got a. Uh, it's also got, what do you call that? The uh, power down feed. It's got all the parts for that. For the power down feed, goes in here and everything. It's in really neat shape. It's in really good shape. Hasn't been beat to death or nothing. So I just can't wait to use it. But I wanted to show a few guys on YouTube that has shapers how they designed this tool lifter and how it worked so that the that would be bolted to the head the cable comes down and controls that little part in the clamper box and that's how it works they use a brake shoe running up and down that rail and that's what makes it operate anyway thanks for your time goodbye